BYD debuted its first vehicle specifically designed for the Japan car market. The all-electric BYD Raku will go on sale in Japan next summer, but we don't have to wait that long to learn more about it. We're going to do that right meow. The KA car or K car market is an icon of the Japanese auto industry and extremely popular, kind of like anime. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this, so let, let's just move on. K cars represent 30 to 40% of their market. They're affordable, easy to find parking for, and best of all, they're taxed less and are cheaper to insure. They're the cheapest car to own while still being legal to drive on the highway. K cars have requirements. They can be no wider than 1.48 meters, no longer than 3.4 meters, and no taller than 2 meters. A good reference comparison would be the Scion XB that was popular in the US for a while. K cars are much smaller than that. The engine is limited to a ridiculous 660 cc's and a gentleman's agreement limits the power to only 63 horsepower or 47 kilowatts. K cars can have any body style, funky little sports cars, functional little trucks, and now popular little two box SUVs, or it's probably better to call it an MPV, whatever. It's dominated by domestic manufacturers like Suzuki, Honda, Daihatsu, which is a Toyota brand, and Nissan. No automaker could possibly crack this market unless some major disruption catches the competition off guard. For all the FUD you hear about battery EVs in America, Japan is actually further behind on adopting them. It's not that they're denying climate change, they're smarter than that. Rather, they've collectively chosen to focus on hybrids and hydrogen. Hybrids, they're great and they make lots of sense. They make great hybrids. Hydrogen, on the other hand, makes no sense as a fuel for cars and they are very slowly realizing that too. So maybe this is the right time for Japan to plug in to a better idea. And that's what BYD had in mind, introducing the BYD Raku, which is Japanese for sea otter. Yeah, that's right. Another ocean series name like seagull, dolphin, seal, shark, and whale. Nah, there's no whale. The Raku meets the size requirements for the K car. It seats four and has that popular functional MPV shape that sells really well. But BYD did not completely catch the domestic leaders off guard. Remember the Mitsubishi IMEV that was sold in the US? That was an electric K car. Mitsubishi now sells the EKX, which was co-developed with the much better looking Nissan Sakura. And now Honda is defending its own turf with the terribly named N1E. Comparing all three, they're all very close. Power output is limited, so there's no real advantage there. Not to simplify it too much, but it comes down to how big a battery you want to put in it and what price you want to charge. BYD is nearly identical to the Nissan and Mitsubishi twins. Honda offers a larger battery, so you get more range and only for a little bit more money. Range is 180 kilometers or 112 miles WLTC. A rough estimate on the EPA would be about 100 miles. Not good by our standards, that's like a decade behind the US market, but somewhat acceptable for this class of EV in a densely populated country. And if you want more range, there are four other BYD models that you can choose from, and soon they'll also add their plug-in hybrids to their lineup in Japan. To meet the expectations of the market, BYDs sold in Japan have the Chatamo connector. This BYD will support up to 100 kilowatts of charging, which is really good, and especially considering the small battery, it doesn't need to charge that much faster. Besides, most DC chargers in Japan are only 50 kilowatts using an older Chatamo standard. Japan's safety regulations made it difficult to install DC chargers over 200 kilowatts. Those regulations were relaxed in recent years, allowing for, wait for it, Tesla to expand its supercharging network. And over there, they use the NAX plug like here in North America. Tesla decided that Japan's fast charging network was so lame that they'd rather just build their own with their own plugs rather than rely on Chatamo DC charging infrastructure. You kind of see how Japan is actually behind America on battery EVs. Our infrastructure is headed to NAX slash J3400, 
while Japan's is evolving in kind of a weird way. I should mention that BYD offers their vehicles in right-hand drive for the Japan and other markets. U.S. lobbyists and politicians like to complain about how Japan's auto industry is protected. It is, but far too often Detroit car makers would try selling left-hand drive models in Japan and then just throw in the towel saying they can't sell them over there. Another barrier to selling in Japan has been the dealer network. It's not easy to establish a network over there, so this too will limit how fast BYD can grow. They recently announced a limited partnership with ION, a Japan major retailer. It will involve BYD electric vehicles being on display for a promotion, special offers, and facilitate ordering, kind of like when you see a car parked out of Costco and you can go in and get a discount. Japan is not a huge electric vehicle market. Even by U.S. standards, it's behind. But BYD thinks that's about to change and sees gigantic opportunities in a market just a short boat ride away. There are barriers to their market. There is lingering skepticism of battery EVs, and there's no hiding who BYD is. They're a powerhouse from China. Everybody knows them now. BYD has increased its sales in Japan by over 50% last year, and it's going to be like quadruple this year. They are driving the battery EV market in Japan, and come summer of next year, they'll have a super affordable, super mini, super sea otter to push things even further.